Acoustic emissions can be used to detect and quantify leaks in pneumatic systems. In this setup, a pressure accumulator has been charged with 4 bar. Smallest leakages can be adjusted via a needle valve. A VS150M sensor is glued directly onto the needle valve body. A second sensor of the same type is mounted onto the pressure accumulator. The signals from both sensors are captured by a Linwave acoustic emission device and displayed in real time. The diagrams show the RMS values of the measurement data. On the left for the sensor on the needle valve body and on the right for the sensor on the pressure accumulator. When the valve is closed, the RMS values of both sensors lie at approximately 1 microvolt. The valve is now slowly open to about 90 degrees to cause a minimum leakage. At this point, the RMS value of sensor 1 has already increased by a factor of over 100. The sensor on the pressure accumulator also reacts, but with lower amplitudes. The valve is opened by a further 90 degrees. The leakage is now clearly audible in a quiet environment. The RMS value of sensor 1 increases to over 1 millivolt. The RMS value of sensor 2 at the pressure accumulator shows an increase by a factor of 6 compared to the closed valve. By blocking the air outlet, the leakage can be temporarily stopped. In this case, both sensor signals revert back to an RMS value of approximately 1 microvolt. When the intensity of the leakage is changed, the signal on the pressure accumulator follows the trend of the sensor on the valve with lower amplitudes. Acoustic emission due to leakage propagates in pneumatic systems and can not only be used to detect leakages, but to locate leakage points by examining the system in the direction of increasing amplitude.